Welcome to this week's Shepherds Fashion Friday. I'm Elaine Charon and I'm here with our body shape guru, Catherine Thompson. You will notice that Marlene is missing in action this week. She just had a gallbladder operation, quite successful we may add, so she's resting at home. Um, Marlene, we hope you enjoy this video and to all out there, we're continuing with our body shape series, Catherine. Yes. And what are we highlighting this week? We're going to highlight the pair. So lots more to come. So we have two beautiful pairs with us, ladies. Thank you for joining us. We have Ainsley, who's a customer here at Shepherds, and Donna, who you may recognize as a sales associate here at Shepherds. So let's define the pear shape. The pear shape, as with the hourglass, has beautiful feminine curves. Where the placement of the curves is, is what differs her to the hourglass. The pear can have a good shoulder line, but it's always much smaller in proportion to her hip line. Some pairs also have quite a narrow shoulder line. So if you feel that garments are just falling off of you at the shoulder line, that's very indicative of a pair. Bust line typically is smallish, which again is a bonus because it allows you to do so many fun things, pockets and so on on jean jackets, great. The waist, uh, natural waist on a pair is typically longer. She has more length in the rib cage than an hourglass. Pear typically has a flattish stomach. Sometimes postmenopause, a little, what do you call it, Donna? Menopot. Menopot <laughs> occurs. <laughs> so that can happen. You're still a pear, just with a little pot. Okay. And then what about the hip line, Catherine? Well, there are three actual hips, and a lot of people don't realize that. Um, and, and for a pair, it's very important to know where they are. Mm -hmm. So, three inches down from the waist is what we call a high hip. Now, Donna is coming down straight to this point. Then, from the waist down seven inches, okay, is the hip. And that's where she broadens and becomes a pair. And then both legs together are what we call a low hip. So it's important because the waist is so small that often the pair has to do alterations in all pants. Mm -hmm. It's just a fact of life and I think you both no. have good seamstresses yes. and you go from shepherds to the seamstress mm -hmm. to have them altered. So we've got a look here that we feel is almost perfect on Ainsley. There's something though that we need to adjust here. A little hint, a sleeve length can make all the difference in creating a great look. Catherine, tell us again why this look is so amazing on Ainsley. Well, number one, pairs love to wear jackets. And so there are rules again about wearing jackets to balance their, their body. So what is fantastic about this is it's got a small, almost like a shawl collar look here in the front. It is not a straight jacket, a boxy jacket, it's asymmetrical. So again, that's very slimming and makes the eye go up and down the body. It has sleeves and where the sleeve ends is most important. So what we have done is we have turned the one sleeve to where it should be and this sleeve you may have trouble seeing it is at a wrong spot it is here at the waist we have a seam here that highlights your waist and makes it look lovely and trim but we have that sleeve ending at the seam therefore her arm is broadening her body so what we want to do is put it down like this and that then shows lovely slimness in the arm and brings the eye up and down also the waist is now showcased can we add the cherry on the sunday on this look i think so. <laughs> um, so we have this lariat necklace from wanted and let's see what magic happens here so we're going to bring this length here again we're adding extra brightness with the Freshwater Bright Pearls. 
And we're just going to tie it like so and add yet another long vertical line on the body. So whenever you add more verticals, it distracts from any horizontal line you would have on the body. The pant, amazing as well. We all own this pant. Yes, yes. sure do. <laughs> this is the pivot pant from Simply. Think of it for a girl with a fuller hip line as a straight leg pant, if you will, with a little twist, a little edge, a little fun at the hemline. Done it beautifully here with a shoe that has a little bit of foot cleavage, so not a heavy look, but very uh, feminine, if you will, and it just, all the accessories here just combine to beautifully finish this look. How do you feel, Ainsley? I, I love this outfit. Good. What we love to do at Body Shapes is kind of deviate from what are the, the technical rules for each body shape. So Catherine, what have we done here that's a little twist? Well, I'm a believer that there are rules, but they can be broken. You just have to know how to break them. And the normal thing with a pair is we keep a bright color here on the top, and we keep a dark color on the bottom and no prints. Often gals who wear pairs have never worn a print in their bottom. But this works beautifully because the overall print is small and more black is showing than white. Therefore, the eye just keeps moving up and down. It doesn't go across and widen anything. And we've added the black vest, which then brings the eye up and down the body through the black. We have Donna in the makings of a good look. We started with the white on the top, which is good for balancing the body, with the black bottom. So the black slims the lower half, the white broadens the upper half. That's fine. But her problem area is through the hip line. And if you look, she has a watch on that's ending at the hem, and she has a bracelet on the right arm that's ending at the hem. So that has, makes her look bigger. Could you take off your watch, please? Okay, now I think you'll be able to see the difference. The top just looks big. It looks a little bit sloppy. So that's what we're going to show you how to improve that. So we're back, and what we've done here is that we've defined the look on Donna with the help of a really wide waist. So again, a pair typically can do this accessory marvelously. That waist is yours, define it, accentuate it, it's a real asset on your body shape. We've also done something quite beautiful here with this blues on style. As you see, it really kind of fills up the bust line, accentuates the bust line again, something that is wondrous that the pair can do beautifully. Um, when you're doing an off the shoulder look, can we suggest that you try to see what, um, what angle is better here? We we're, were better, we found with Donna, with a little bit of a curved up angle on the shoulder line. Again, defining the waist, and then this peplum kind of juts over the widest part of the hip. Magnificent. The pant, the culotte, has the piping seam coming down the front here. It's lovely because what it does is that it breaks up the width of that fuller leg line. The shoe, well, killer shoe, <laughs> Donna, <laughs> pointed to feminine, and again, it just elongates that body so beautifully. Well, here's another one of our miracle dresses. Um, this is a dress from Joseph Ripkoff. We've done a monochromatic look on this. So it's a mixed media dress, jersey nylon. We've paired it with a jersey pant from Joseph Ripkoff, kept to, um, I think, a very flattering silhouette. I love it because it's highlighting <clears throat> her upper body. Ainsley likes things to be snug through uh, the rib cage and it's camouflaging the hip. What's wonderful about it is the fabric. So anybody, I have this dress, I'm an inverted triangle. And on me, it has too much skirt, but what I can do is just do this, and it conforms to, to the body. Turn around. Again, it's showing her shoulder line, and with the empire waist, here, it's highlighting her small, small waist. I'll turn around again. 
the one thing that we would do differently is bring the shoulders in. So when Ainsley buys this dress today, she's going to go straight from Shepherd's to her seamstress to have the shoulder adjusted. And the reason we would do that rather than put her in another size, if we went up or if we went down to a smaller size, it would bring this up and likely want to go across her bust and then the dress would not look proper. The A-line dress is kind of basically made for That's a right. pair, right, because it just skims over the hip line ever so beautifully. Um, this one you may recognize is the tank dress from Simply, one of our all-time favorites here at Shepherds. Again, it's a dress that can work for many shapes, but in particularly um, curvy girls. And Catherine, why do you love this dress? I love it. It's the fabric, and I think fabric can change every woman's body shape and make it look better if you're wearing the right fabric for your body. It has this lovely weight, therefore it skims the body and hangs perfectly. You have Donna here, who we know is a pair, but the way she's dressed at the moment, she looks as if she's an hourglass, as is Elaine. Mm -hmm. And the balance is all here. But ladies, really, when you're out shopping, try on different fabrics to see which fabric fits your shape the best. We have Donna back again, and what can we say about this outfit? It's dramatic, it can go absolutely anywhere. She could go out for lunch, she could go out in the evening, she could go to a wedding. And what I love most, because I don't have a waist, is how wonderful her waist looks. It looks so tiny. Elaine, do you want to explain the rest of the skirt? Absolutely. So, yes, yeah, speaking of the waist, what we've done is that we've kind of repositioned the waist. So, again, if a, a, most pairs have a lower waist, so we've brought it right back up here to create an empire waist on Donna. Um, fabric here, interesting. What happens here is that the weight of the skirt takes place lower than where the hip line is. So, in essence, camouflaging that challenging hip line area for the pair. There's gorgeous seaming going on here, high-low. And then could we have a look at the back as well? Wanted to show you again how gorgeous that looks. What we've done with the blouse is that although it's tucked in real tight at the front, we've kind of done a blue zone look here at the back, creating a beautiful, sinuous, very feminine shape. And um, it, the, uh, the structure of the shirt, again, brings the accentuation to the top, soft flow fluidity at the bottom, it's wonderful. Donna, <laughs> how, how do you feel in it? Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you so much for having joined us today for this Spotlight on the Pair. Catherine, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you. And Marlene, I hope you're back for next Friday. So listen, we have a beautiful giveaway as always. It's uh, this bracelet. You will have seen Donna wearing it with her skirt look. And so what we would love for you to do is to comment on what your favorite look from today's segment was and why. And ladies, as you know, we feel that this series is chock full of information for body shape. Please share with your friends. Um, there's lots for every woman to right. enjoy, inform, and follow. So we'll see you next week for another Shepherd's Fashion Friday. Bye now.